Drive Miss Smith mad. Watch our new funny video with a new compilation of funny school pranks we don't recommend repeating in class. Miss Smith has put on her brightest red lipstick. She keeps smirking and flirting with someone on the phone. Everything suggests that she has finally met a boyfriend. I wonder who he is. Maybe it's our PE teacher. Yuck! It's weird to see your strict teacher behaving like a teenager. But on the other hand, a romantic Miss Smith gives us a good reason to prank her. Let's make a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Make a bouquet out of fresh springs and berries. Tie it with a ribbon and make a neat bow. Spray the bouquet with clear polish and sprinkle with glittering stars. Now, decorate the bottom of the bouquet. Need white and black modeling clay. Roll out a thin snake of the black clay. Put it on a sheet of the white clay and cut out a strip. Wrap the white modeling clay around the black snake and roll it up. Cut it into small pieces and shape each piece to look like a worm or larva. Make rounded ends. Scratch rings on the worm's body. Bend the clay worms a little to make them look more realistic. Attach them to the bottom springs of the bouquet with super glue. The bouquet with worms is straight from a garden. It will certainly make a woman happy. Complete this romantic set with some delicious candies. Suck soy sauce into a syringe. Fill chocolate candies with the spicy filling. Wrap the candies with wrappers as though nothing is wrong. Put the bouquet into a vase and voila! Add a card from a secret admirer. Ready? Teleport the vase onto the teacher's desk. Send the candies as well. Miss Smith finds the gifts. It's so unexpected. She is sure that it's a love delivery from her boyfriend. Marvelous! She puts a candy into her mouth and takes the bouquet out of the vase at the same time. Oops! Double strike! The candy is too salty and the bouquet is a home for worms. Ghastly! But Miss Smith sees her students laughing, so it gives her a clue that her boyfriend has nothing to do with it. The girls at the farthest desk are responsible for these shenanigans. Let's prepare an aquarium pencil case for the teacher. Fill a Ziploc bag with water. Zip it and put it into an empty pencil case. Put school supplies on top. Shift the pencil case closer to Miss Smith. She puts a pen in it without looking and pricks the water bag accidentally. Little by little, the desk is being flooded. The teacher is confused. Where does the water come from? It's your student's tears, Miss Smith. Let's put a little friend into Miss Smith's cup stealthily. A cute little octopus which will grow into a giant sea monster. Take a rubber octopus growing bigger in size when it gets into fluid. Toss it into a drink. Yuck! It looks terrifying. Miss Smith is drinking her coffee, looking through her Instagram when a sudden guest gets into her cup. She doesn't notice that her mug turns into an octopus aquarium. She goes away to take a wipe for cleaning a spilled stain. Meanwhile, her little guest turns into a real sea monster. When Miss Smith takes another sip, she is terrified to discover the sea dweller. Well, now she will have to wipe her desk again. She might be allergic to seafood. Do you need adhesive tape to repair your paper craft? I've got a special one. Unwind the tape. Apply clear nail polish onto the adhesive side. Leave the end uncovered. Wind the tape. What the heck? The tape doesn't attach to paper, but it sticks to my hands instead. My friend can't tame her flyaway hair. A claw clip could help her, and I've got one. Break the opposite claws with pliers. My friend tries in vain to fasten her hair with a clip. Hey Rapunzel, don't tame your beautiful hair. 
Does your friend like talking too much? Prank her with a glue stick and lip balm and make her listen to you. Take a glue stick and lip balm. Remove the balm from the tube. Take out the glue stick from the container. Cut off the excess. Put the glue into the lip balm tube. Clean the container from the glue left over. Put the balm in it. My friend takes the lip balm tube. I try to stop her, but she doesn't listen. And as the result, her lips have been glued. Now, she'll have to stop talking for a while. That will be a lesson for her. Next time, she'll listen to what I say. And I get the glue stick and apply it on my lips. What's this? A glue stick? Psh, it's boring. We've got a sweet stick. Remove the plug with the glue remains. Clean the container. Clean the plug. Set it back. Mix gelatin and sugar. Take more gelatin than usual to make a thick jelly. Add hot water and stir well. Pour it into the tube. Put it in the fridge to cool. The jelly looks exactly like a real glue stick. Do you need glue for your paper craft? Wait until I taste it. My friend can't believe her eyes when I bite a piece, but she also finds it tasty when she finally tries it. If you get hungry when you're in class, just gnaw the sweet stick and no one will notice. A phone call distracts the teacher. It's time for a prank with a whiteboard marker. Attach a piece of double-sided mounting tape to a whiteboard marker. Attach the marker to the board. Miss Smith can't find it. Here it is, at the corner. But it is hard to take off. Be careful with the board. Otherwise, we will have to pull you out of blockage. My classmate's forgotten her textbook at home, but Miss Smith is suspiciously kind today. She lets the girl borrow her own textbook. Take away all the pages out of an old notebook with a hard cover. You'll need only the cover. Trace the notebook on a piece of foam plastic and cut it out. Put a foam plastic block into the cover and attach it with a double-sided tape. Attach a printed textbook cover to the front side. It's quite a challenge to open the textbook. Some secret knowledge is apparently hidden here. Aha! The teacher decided to prank us and gave us a textbook dummy. Well played, Miss Smith. Everybody knows that Miss Smith is terrified of mice, but you should face your fears. This is why we prepared a little fluffy mouse to prank Miss Smith. Buy a realistic stuffed mouse for cats in a pet shop. Paint the nose of the mouse black. Attach fishing line to the belly. Put the mouse onto the teacher's desk and pull up the line. Miss Smith, all in fear, jumps up on the desk. Watch out, don't smash the mouse. Beauty is power, especially when you pepper it nicely. Attach an artificial flower to a blank brooch. Sprinkle black pepper in between the petals. I show the peppered brooch to my friend. She sneezes at once and gets mad at me right away. This is not for you, it's for our teacher. Miss Smith sees the brooch and heads in our direction. Yes, of course, take it. She pins it to her jacket straight away. It's so stu- Achoo! Here we go! Now Pepper invaded the teacher's nose and she can't stop sneezing. She can't even make a remark. <laughs> At last, Miss Smith gets rid of the brooch. Miss Smith left to talk on the phone. It's high time to use her blackboard for the next prank. While the teacher is away, Cover the entire blackboard with refrigerator magnets. Miss Smith comes back. She doesn't like our magnet illustration. Now I will have to clean everything. The blue-eyed girl has brought a radio-controlled car to school. Funny classes will start now. Miss Smith has prepared thoroughly for the classes. She even did her lip makeup, but Miss Smith has only one fan at school, and this is the blackboard.
We conduct our car operation as soon as Miss Smith turns away and writes a task on the blackboard. I put her makeup bag on the car. The car takes away her makeup bag when she faces the table. What kind of magic trick is this? Somebody hailed a taxi for my makeup bag. Miss Smith struggles to catch her makeup bag, and the girls are laughing out loud. At last, the makeup bag is saved, and there is no chance of MBC. And the students return their car back to its parking lot near the desk. Miss Smith wants to put her documents in order, but it looks like the sheet protectors in the folder have closed for a lunch break. Cover a sheet protector with parchment paper on the opening side. Heat it with a flat iron. The sheet protector seals, and you can't open it. The teacher tries to open the sheet protector, but it's in vain. She just throws away the damaged sheet protector when she grows impatient and declares a war. Crossbow is her weapon. Hide, everyone! We will need four pencils of the same length. Tie two pairs of pencils with rubber bands. Fasten the tied pencils crosswise. Take an empty pen barrel without the tips and tie it on top. Attach a binder clip behind the barrel. Tie a rubber band to the horizontal pair of pencils so that you get a bowstring. Connect the center with a piece of tape. Stretch the bowstring and fasten it with the binder clip. Insert a refill inside the barrel. Miss Smith is on the warpath. She releases the bowstring and the missile comes out. It aims directly at the students. Air attack of the desk! And don't forget to give your thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss new prank ideas.